and welcome to our Learn It Short series, where we cover a topic in a short video of just a few minutes. My name is Chuck McCullough, and this is the first in our Introduction to C Sharp series. And this one's on setup and basic syntax. To get started in C Sharp, you'll need Visual Studio. The easiest choice for the Windows system is Visual Studio Community. You may also use Visual Studio Code, however, which is a platform neutral IDE. Either option is free and available at visualstudio.com. While this series does not include hands-on, I encourage you to get the tools so you can practice on your own. Check out our other courses for more in-depth coverage, along with hands-on labs. C Sharp is a compiled language. A compiler translates human-readable code into machine instructions. C Sharp translates to an intermediate language known as CLR. At runtime, the CLR is translated into the native machine code. Now, a linker takes all of our individual compiled modules and creates a single executable file. The C Sharp linker is built into the compiler and executes as the last phase. When coding in C-sharp, you will create many text files with the extension of .cs. Inside this file, you'll define namespaces, and within the namespace, you'll define a class. Inside the class, you'll define methods, and within the methods, you will provide the statements to perform whatever task you wish. Now, statements in C-sharp are terminated with a semicolon, and can be simple or complex. We'll talk about statements in future lessons. You may also declare variables. A variable is a symbol that represents information. C Sharp supports several basic data types, as you can see here. The basic types representing integers or whole numbers and floating point numbers representing floats or doubles and character data as well. Now these are all intrinsic types, and these types, with the exception of string, are value types. String is a reference type. Now the syntax of a variable declaration is the data type followed by the symbol. A symbol is made up of any characters, alphanumeric characters, but with no spaces. All executable programs must have a single entry point. The entry point is predefined as a method with the name main. All methods have to be enclosed in a class, and the class that encloses main is arbitrary. It can be whatever you wish. In this example, we show the obligatory Hello World application. We will cover the meaning of the various parts of this in subsequent lessons. All of the code examples in this series are set as .NET 5 console applications. It used to be called .NET Core, but now it's just .NET 5. And these are console applications, so if you want to follow along. Now, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new content. And for a more in-depth course with hands-on labs, visit our website at mccullaassociates.com. You'll also find me on Udemy. Up next, loops and conditionals.